Well, with summer here, uh, pool safety should always be on parents' minds. Absolutely. Fox Station with Keith McGilvery and Margot Farrell are live in West Hartford with more on some new technology mm -hmm. aims at uh, keeping kids safe out there. Tim, Erica, that's right. And you guys actually talked about this new technology as a family first subject a couple of weeks ago. And now we are getting a hands on approach to it. I've got Eyal, the CEO and co founder of Coral Manta, which is a really interesting piece of technology, really, that folks can have in their own backyard. Yes, that actually is the purpose uh, to have a, a device that helps people in their backyards where there is no lifeguard on site. So. Right, so today we are fortunate to have a lifeguard on site. Lifeguard Alyssa, she's going to demonstrate what happens because this is detecting the kids playing in the background and really what happens if a child goes under the water and isn't moving. Right, so typically right now uh, the system is, is tracking everybody. You can see uh, the device that it tracks, it knows that there are people in the pool. The moment someone is going down and not moving for uh, uh, about 15 seconds, this is when the alarm would go off and, and you would get it, you will hear it. Uh, in, in the pool alarm, in the pool unit, in the house, and you get a notification to your phone. There you see, she stayed a few minutes, about 10 seconds, and, and the alarm is going off. And I get the, the alarm also to my, to my phone. You can see that it marks that someone is under the water, not moving. All right, so obviously a very important piece of technology. And how much does something like this cost if folks are interested in putting this in their backyard pools? Well, th this is a very advanced technology. It has like a, a, a very sophisticated uh, computer inside and other sensors. The typical price is 2500 Right now it's on sale and we'll sell it for uh, 1999 All right, well, something to keep in mind, certainly for parents as this goes a long way. I believe Keith, he's standing by with a parent as well. Yes, yeah, so speaking of parents, this is Mary Kate. You're a mom of three. Yes. You're also a swim instructor. We've just watched this. What do you make of the technology? I think it is amazing and it would ease so much anxiety as a parent to know that this is in place. Even with some strong swimmers and some weaker swimmers in my family, I would feel so much better just knowing that that safety precaution is available. All right, but always keep an eye on your kids as well. Absolutely. Absolutely, 100%. All right, good luck out there. We're seeing all these kids. Margo, some interesting stuff. Absolutely, for with sure. of course water safety being the goal. So whether you're at a public pool and maybe you don't have the, uh, the the awesome Alyssa who we had as a lifeguard here, several lifeguards on staff at this particular pool in West Hartford. But if you don't have that, then maybe something like this, something to consider for a residential pool. All right, need the info? We put it up on our website, fox61.com, and on social. But for now, I'm Keith McGilvery. I'm Margo Farrell, Fox, Fox 61, 61 News. News.